Does your next experiment involve aquaporin-3? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against AQP3. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and AQP3's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick Facts About AQP3 Aquaporin-3 belongs to the aquaporin family, more specifically the aquaglyceroporin subfamily. It is an integral membrane protein known for its role in the transport of water and other molecules such as hydrogen peroxide and glycerol. AQP3 is 292 amino acids long and runs around 32 kilodaltons on a western blot. Topic 2. Where is aquaporin-3 expressed? Aquaporin-3 is highly expressed in the respiratory system, epithelial cells of the kidney, skin, and gastrointestinal tract, as well as other tissues. In terms of RNA expression, AQP3 has some expression in other tissues, such as the pancreas, liver, brain, and muscle. You can find more information on proteinatlas.org to check out which cell lines express AQP3 and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3, Aquaporin-3 in Western blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. The last thing we want is to have our papers retracted due to a false positive figure. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically two bands can be expected in an aquaporin-3 western blot, an unglycosylated form of AQP3 around 32 kilodaltons and a glycosylated form of AQP3 around 40 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about AQP3. Aquaporins were initially discovered about 30 years ago. To date, there are a total of 13 isoforms of human aquaporins, including AQP3. Overall, AQP3 plays a vital role in the transport of water and glycerol, skin hydration, and wound healing. Recent studies indicate aquaporin-3 may have a role in cancer. AQP3 has been shown to affect migration and metastases in cancer. Due to this, the role of aquaporin-3 is currently being investigated. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.